So in this video, we're going to analytically or algebraically find the limit of a polynomial. And this is kind of the simplest possible case that we can work with. And what we want to recognize is that in all of the videos that follow, including this one, these are the tools that we're going to be using. We developed these two tools in video one and these four tools in video two. So the expectation going through the remaining videos is that you're going to have taken this down as notes so that you can refer to it as we're going through the video example. So I'm going to assume that you have this information in front of you and that you're working on memorizing it in preparation for the first exam. So in this case, I have a polynomial x squared minus 3x plus 2, and I want to find the limit as x goes to 3 of this polynomial, but I want to do it analytically using the tools that we developed in videos 1 and 2. So step 1 to get full credit in a homework is to completely rewrite the statement or the problem. So I'm going to write the limit as x goes to 3 of x squared minus 3x plus 2 without doing anything to it other than rewriting it. Once I do that, I want to look over here and identify the tools that I can use to begin to calculate this limit. So the first thing I want to notice is that I have the difference or sum of three functions, x squared, 3x, and the function, the constant function 2. So this tool right here, tool number, tool number 4 on my screen, says that if I want to find the limit of the sum or difference of functions, I can take the sum or difference of the individual limits. So this tool here allows me to break this into three separate limits. So using tool number four on the side of the screen, I can rewrite this line as the limit as x goes to th three of x squared, the limit of the first function, minus the limit as x goes to 3 of the second function, which is 3 times x, plus the limit as x goes to 3 of the third function, which is 2. So I'm using this to say if I have the limit of a sum or difference of functions, I can take the sums and differences of the limits of the individual pieces. So down to the next line, I want to recognize that x squared is actually the product of two functions. So the limit as x goes to 3, x squared is really x times x, the product of two functions, minus the limit as x goes to 3 of 3 times x. So now I look over here and I want to recognize that this tool will be useful because this tool says that if I have the limit as x goes to a of a constant times a function, I can just multiply the constant times the limit applied to the function. So I'm going to apply this tool. I'm going to say, hey, I have the limit as x goes to 3 of a constant times a function x, which I can rewrite as the constant 3 right here, times the limit as x goes to 3 of the function x. So that's using this tool right here. So I step to the next one, I bring down my plus, and I say the limit as x goes to 3 of 2, but now I want to recognize that 2 is a constant. And here I have a tool that says if I'm taking the limit as x goes to 3, or any real number of a constant, in this case my constant is 2, the limit as x goes to a of a constant is just a constant. So in this case the limit as x goes to 3 of the constant 2 is just going to be the constant 2. So now I step over here and I say, what tool can I use to, to break this down even further? And I wanna notice I have the product of two functions. And down here, this tool says that if I want the limit of a product of two functions, I can take the product of the limits of the individual functions. So I can break this up. This is the limit of a product. I can break it up as the product of the limits. So I take the limit as x goes to 3 of x times the limit as x goes to 3 of the function x. So the limit of the product becomes the product of the limits minus 3 times. And now I have the limit as x goes to 3 of x. And I want to recognize that this tool applies in this case. This says the limit as x goes to any number 
of the function x is just that number. So in this case, the limit as x goes to 3 of x is just going to equal 3. We're just replacing the a with the 3 in the limit notation. The limit as x goes to 3 of x is 3. So I replace this with 3, and I have my plus 2 from the previous line. And now I can apply this tool again because I have the limit as x goes to 3 of x, which we just did. The limit as x goes to 3 of x is just 3 times. The limit as x goes to 3 of x is just 3 minus 3 times 3 is 9 plus 2. Multiplication first, 3 times 3 is 9 minus 9 plus 2. 9 minus 9 is 0 plus 2. 0 plus 2 is 2. So the limit as x goes to 3 of this polynomial is just 2.